Life-threatening accidents happen every day all over the world. Most are able to walk away from the scene, but some are not so fortunate. In these cases, EMS helicopters are dispatched to quickly transport the patient to the nearest care facility. Bases like Halo 151 and Glendale, Arizona operate 24-7 to save lives on a daily basis. Uh, my name is Reed Burrell. I'm an EMS helicopter pilot for PHI Inc. or AeriVac. This particular base here is all scene calls and what I mean by that is we don't do any inter-facility hospital to hospital calls. We do all scene calls so um, your car accidents, uh, any drownings, um, this base will also go do search and rescues. We can go out and find somebody that's lost. And, um, these guys have equipment. We can ping your cell phone and actually help identify where you're at and go locate you and hopefully have enough spot to land and pick you up as well and get you out of there. So yeah, we have a kitchen. We have a, a living room, if you will, with a TV and a, you know, an open room. And then we each have our own separate rooms. Uh, we each have our own TVs in there in case we don't like the other person. Um, actually, what it is, you know, when you go in there, if you want to watch your own show or whatnot. So, um, yeah, so we have our living quarters. We each have our own bedroom, our own rooms. Um, there's a washer and dryer here in case we have a bad call and we get a little messier. Maybe we'll go work out or something like that. We'll do that as well um, so you can shower. But, yeah, full living quarters. I mean, it's like a little apartment here. Um, and then this area that you see here, this is kind of our common room. It's got all our computers in it. When they come back to do their charting for patients, that all is done here. Um, all my weather checking, all that stuff is done in this room. Basically, flight planning and all our stuff for uh, the actual job is concerned is, is done in this room, and everything else for us just hanging out and living here is, is the rest of the course. We use an a Aero Special AS350. It's a French built helicopter. Um, it's great, it, it, it gives us the compact ability to fit into some of the LZs or landing zones that we have to go to, like parking lots and streets, uh, but it's big enough to get a patient in there and also fast enough to you know, make that transport worthwhile because we're getting them there at such a rate of speed. So uh, kind of the best of both worlds, but it's a great aircraft. Um, man, I think it was built in the 70s is when it was designed. It's been around for a long time, but it is a great aircraft. Uh, my name is Jason Webb, and I'm a flight paramedic here at the HALO program. Uh, when we're in the back there, uh, our primary focus is uh, paying attention and managing the patient. Um, of course, we have some certain uh, safety responsibilities that go along with flying. Uh, that can't be compromised. You know, look, we've got to make sure when we're landing and when we're taking off that everybody's looking out the window. We're all making sure that we're being safe. Um, but but once we get past ultimately making sure we're all safe, then of course we turn our attention to the patient. You know, um, I'm going to say superior, and, and that's the reason that we are getting called. Um, one of the reasons we're being called is because we are a rapid transport. I can get that patient instead of a 45 minute drive into the uh, hospital, I can be there in say 10 or 12. Uh, or maybe 15. So besides the speed factor, our guys are as highly trained as you can get. Um, they're highly motivated too. You don't get to this level in EMS without wanting to be at this level um, because of all the requirements that it takes to get here. These guys jump through a lot of hoops to do what they do. And to be honest with you, if I had my choice and I was hurt or my family, these are the guys I want coming because I know the level of training they have. Um, as far as the aircraft equipment, it's pretty similar to an ambulance. Uh, you know, if you get in the back of this, you get in the back of an AMBO, you're not going to see a lot of the sophisticated equipment in ours that you don't see in an ambulance. Um, and quite frankly, they have more room than we do, so they probably have more equipment than we do. You know, if I'm flying along and I lose my engine, I can, if I find a parking lot, I can put it in a parking lot. So it's kind of beneficial. If you're in an airplane and you lose an engine, you've got to find a runway to put it on. I only need a small parking lot or a backyard or something like that that I can put it in um, Yeah, no, they keep flying somehow and I keep, I keep coming out and back and um, I haven't fallen out of the sky just yet. <laughs>